What is up everyone, welcome back. Today we are talking about headlight replacements. Now if you have this factory seal beam headlight, you already know this headlights pretty much suck. Now the pro of them is that you can find them on any power source, so if you really had a problem with one of them, you can easily go to AutoZone or like O'Reilly's or anything like that and buy a new one and replace it. The downside of them is, again, very dim, they kind of suck, you can't see much at night. So. What are your options to upgrade? Now you can go with an upgrade, something like an LED ones like we did on Brian's hard body, and they are great and ton of options on those just because the 5x7 headlight style came on a lot of trucks of the era. But what if you didn't want to go with an LED one? What if you didn't want to go with that style of headlight? They, a lot of them look very tacky, uh, a little bit over the top in my opinion, and maybe they won't match your truck's aesthetic. So if you wanted to keep more of that factory look and also upgrade your light at the same time then the other option you have is to go with an h4 commercial headlight and i'm going to show you here what that is now if we switch over here to my mazda v2000 you might be able to tell that this headlight looks a little bit different you can kind of see a little bit of a blue hint on it and the reason is because we have an h4 conversion on this truck now the blue tint that you see here that's actually the bulb that's in there if you want to go with an led bulb that's another upgrade you can do while still retaining that kind of factory look of the headlight and that's what i like this headlights for now this ones are a very cheap kit that i had online uh, they work well they're definitely a little bit better than your factory ones but today i'm going to upgrade this ones to just a way better housing and a way better bulb and i'm going to show you what those are here in a minute all right guys so here on my table this is our the new headlights that we're going to be putting into the truck as you can tell they're pretty much very close uh, in look now the difference here is we have a metal backing we also have a nice glass clear glass on the front uh, the pattern on this is just a little bit better than the other ones they're all also a little bit more expensive than the other ones i think the other kits are somewhere around 30 to 50 dollars maybe a little bit more these headlights by themselves without bulbs will come in around a hundred dollars so keep that in mind i'll link to both of them in case you want them but this ones are known as three different names they're made by the same people they are called vision x bx57 you can also find them as truck light 27009 or nokia h6054 again they're different names but they are the exact same housing uh and headlights so you can find them by that i'll link you guys on the bottom again so you guys can find them if you want to pick this ones up but they are just a little bit better quality than the other ones i have now keep in mind also bulbs do not come with this headlight so the bulbs that we have in here are tongues ram um mega light ultra i'll link again on the bottom i'm probably saying that super wrong but they are just higher quality bulbs compared to what i have in the truck currently as you can see back of it is going to be plug and play your factory plug is going to go plug here there's going to be nothing that you have to modify you have a nice rubber seal for it so nothing gets no water gets in there just wanted to show you they look great they're going to work great i think now if you never replace the headlights on your mazda b2000 or b2200 or most trucks of the era you will have to remove the grill so you can get access to the little metal piece that holds the headlight in place so in this truck in particular we're gonna have to take out the corner lights first and then we're gonna have to get all the bolts on the top to get the grill out of it don't forget also we have one here and between the grill and then another one on this side and then we're gonna take this whole thing out and then have access to the headlights so let's get to work with the grill out of the way again we have to remove the corners because there are two more bolts behind each corner light but once you get it out of the way we have to do all of that just to get to two bolts on top here and then two on the bottom here now as you can tell i'm already missing one so not off to a good start four bolts on this side four bolts on the other ones don't forget to unplug the back from it and then we can swap them out super easy just a little time tedious if anything also pro tip do not let your especially if you have a chrome one do not set your grill on the bottom try to let it balance on itself i guess because i knocked mine over one time and now i got some scratches on my nice chrome grill and you already know chrome grills are super hard to find so keep that in mind but yeah let me take this out and i'll show you here how the new one looks in place okay guys so here we have the one i just removed from my truck just put a little side by side here technically 
I haven't had many complaints with this ones, honestly. They are not bad for the price. You are paying a little bit less on it. You are getting a little bit cheaper quality. Uh, you have some plastic backing, the seal here, while it hasn't let any water inside of it, it's it's not perfect situated in here. I mean, it does move around a bit if you start maneuvering this. Again, just a little bit cheaper quality. And I think when I bought this one, they came with the bowl in there. So you might get a little bit better bang for the buck, but whenever you upgrade to this one, you have the metal back and you have a better seal around the bulb in here. If you wanted to spend a little bit more money for a little better quality, this is a set to get. If you're more of a tight budget, then this one will do the trick as well. And if you want to just spend a little more money on the bulbs, then obviously you might get a little bit better output out of this one. But to me, uh, it might not be super visible here on the camera, but you can tell these lenses are so much more clear than this ones are. The, the pattern on it looks better. It looks more reflective on it. So I think we're definitely gonna get more light output out of this ones than we did out of this one. Keep that in mind. I'm not going to do a lot of a live video comparison on this just because there are some way better videos, at least when it comes to this headlights. I'll link you guys on the bottom. You guys can go check it out. They do a way more in depth review of the light output on them. I just know it's going to be better than this one's and it's just an option. So you have in case you wanted to keep kind of that classic style of the truck, but upgrade your lighting. So and also pro tip make sure you guys are not breaking these little rings. This is what keeps your headlight in place and they are super hard to come by. And most of the time they like to break right here. This part likes to split away from here, especially if they've been tight over time. Be very careful taking those rings off. All right, guys, and here just wanted to show you just a small little comparison. Now, this is not going to give it justice, but this is with the cheap set. It gives you a little bit more white output in here versus the new set, which gives you a little bit warmer. Uh, this is going to put out more light compared to this one because the blue tint on it actually kind of takes away from the lights. So. Again, I know this is not the best comparison. It is raining outside right now, so I don't want to go drive the truck around. You're not going to see much anyway. So again, you can almost tell here right as well. You see that blue tint on it versus over here. You don't have that tint. You have just way more light coming out of this headlight. So very excited to have this on. I think it's going to make a difference. Uh, and again, I'll link you guys to both of them in case you want to pick one, either of this ones up. But mine are getting a little foggy in here. Uh, they, I had them for a while now, so it's understandable. It does need to have a little refresh on here. So, all right, we got both sides in there. And one reason why I always keep all my bolts, I was actually able to find the one that fits perfectly in there because of my little bucket of random bolts. So we are all good here. We're not missing one anymore. We go over here to the other side. Same thing. We are looking good. We just need to put the grill back on there and we'll be pretty much done. So let's do it. All right, everyone, and here we are done. And if you're thinking to yourself, Brian, that looks almost exactly the same as it did before, you will be pretty close to that, but we are getting just some better quality headlights in here. It's gonna look better. I wasn't going for something different on the front of this truck. I wanna keep this classic style with it. So this fits the needs that I want with this. And I'm gonna show you here on the Mazda B2200 how it looks factory. So you're gonna see a big improvement if you go from a factory headlight, unlike me that I'm going from basically an H4 conversion to another H4 conversion. Uh, let me show you here. This is what your factory setup most likely looks like if you still have your factory lights in place. And you can see this one's a little bit darker than the other one, but we're going from this to this. And I'm telling you, the look wise might not be so different, but the light output is gonna be a lot better. So trust me, if you don't wanna go with an LED conversion, this is your best alternative to go with. All right guys, so there you have it. You saw how the OEM kind of look, how the new H4 ones look. Now on my truck in particular, there wasn't a big change just because I already had an H4 conversion headlight on this. So we didn't do a drastic change on it, but if you're going from a factory ones, this is gonna be a big improvement on your lighting. Uh, if you go with an LED setup, that's gonna be a big improvement on your lighting as well. It's all gonna depend on what kind of build you're going for. On mine, I'm going for more of a little classic look on the front. So I don't like the LED ones in this case. And this kind of fixes that problem of just better lighting. Um, again, that's all I have for today. So thanks so much for watching. If you like what we're doing, please leave a like, hit the subscribe button. Uh, consider leaving a comment or anything like that. Give me your thoughts on what you think about these headlights. And also, don't forget to check out our website, flakegarage.com. There's a lot of info there, especially in the builds. I get a lot of questions all the time. What are your wheel specs? What are this? What is that? Check out the website, guys. I leave links for everything that I've been using on the trucks. It's constantly being updated. 
Uh, that was one of my goals for this year to kind of upgrade that and, and keep working on that website. So check it out. There's going to be links for a lot of the stuff in there. And if you were looking for specs or stuff that I have on this truck and the other trucks in particular, you're going to find it there. So don't forget to check that out. And hopefully we'll see you guys on the next video. Bye. Okay, so as you can see, we have our headlight out and I want to just give you